Hi, this is Jonas from Oslo Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you Oslo University campus, also known as Blindern. I'm standing now at the center of Blindern, which is called the Fredrikke place. And uh, that's the statue, that's the fountain, that's the math building, and there is the uh, university library. That's a facility building which um, houses stuff like a bookstore where you can get uh, all of your curriculum or you can buy expensive merchandise like a t-shirt or a cup with a university logo on. And there's also a pharmacy and a medical center where you can get stuff like free condoms or if you don't care about that you can also have a drop-in STD check. They will also take care of your medical bills if you fill out the right forms. And that is the main facility building of Blinnern. It is called Fredrikke and it houses uh, on the front side here, there, on the left side there is a pub and there's a chapel, church kind of thing and there's a cafe and inside there is also a career center, a bakery, a hamburger joint, a gym. And this is the main canteen where you apparently can't film but you can eat. And, uh, you can uh, normally choose between like a El Chipo dish and a vegetarian dish and a halal dish and kind of a luxurious dish. There's also a hairdresser and a small grocery shop which will take care of all of your beer needs. This is the main university library. Inside there is a cafe, a canteen, 3.6 million books and there are study rooms for mostly anybody. And these are the desks inside of the university library. It's quite nice, but a uh, little too nice for my taste, actually. Your eye starts to wonder if you know what I mean. This is the physics building, one of the oldest buildings on Blindern. And of course, physicists, they love pendulums. And this one right here is supposed to prove that the Earth orbits the Sun and not the other way around. Now I'm at the top floor of the physics building and I was going to show you the magnificent view from the balcony, but it is locked. Anyway, from here you can see downtown Oslo to the left, the Oslo Fjord straight ahead and the Holmenkollen area to the right. And uh, also straight down is the Vigelons Park. And the fun fact is that the physics building is built in line with a monolith at the center of the Vigelons Park. And there's also a really cool uh, study room at, uh, in, the, in the tower of uh, the physics building, but unfortunately, now there is an exam going on, so we can't go in. Maybe we can sneak a peek. This is Villa Eka, the student parliament. The student representatives have their offices here. And what do the student representatives do? Nobody knows, but I've been to a few parties here. Right? I think that's what they do. When you get tired of the pasta stuff you get at the university canteens, I have a great tip for you. Head over to this Turkish bakery. Uh, this is actually what kept me alive for the last few years at the university. Uh, it is really nice and they have uh, bird eggs, samosas, and chicken, meatballs and a lot more and it's really cheap. At the north of Blindern you can find Dumes Atletica. Outside of here there is a tennis court and a football field. There's also an indoor football field and an Olympic sized swimming pool. And most importantly, a very good weightlifting gym. Uh, you can have all of this for 169 per month if you are a student. And that also gives you the right to use four other gyms in Oslo, including the one down at Blindern. If you are very keen on going to the gym, you can of course get an apartment at the Westgrenza Student Housing. This is the Department of Informatics, where I got my master's degree. And that red brick building right there is the informatics pub, which is called Escape. What an original name. Art outside of the informatics building. Looks like something that came out of MATLAB. Don't ask. If you really enjoy campus life, you could get a room here at Blinden Student Home. This is an American styled dormitory where you would most likely have to share a room with somebody, but they provide you with food. It is on campus and the uh, Fredrikkeplassen, the uh, main square of Blinden is right over there. I've been to a few parties in here and somewhere inside of here is a really cool lounge. The kind with uh, stuffed animal heads sticking out of the walls and uh, leather furniture. I think probably that's the closest thing to a fraternity you can experience in Norway. 
This concrete slab right here is the Norwegian Student Society. It isn't really on Blinnern, it's a 10 minutes walk down towards Majorstuen, and it's called Chateau Neuf. Of course, that being French, meaning the new castle. Oh, it doesn't stop there because it's a pun actually. The uh, mascot of the Norwegian Student Society is His Majesty the Pig. And Neuf is the uh, sound that the pig makes, like oink. So that makes this Chateau Oink. Ingenious, isn't it? Well, that's all I had in this episode of Oslo Pro. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe.